Teachers would have to follow guidelines prepared by the Education Ministry to grade Year 1, 2 and 3 pupils when conducting classroom-based assessments now that midterm and final exams have been abolished. Addressing parents' concern on how classroom-based assessments would be carried out, Deputy Education Minister Tio Ni Cheng said pupils' performance would not be solely based on teachers' subjective view on them. It's not totally subjective. It's not only like how they think, how they feel, or what they think about the children, and therefore it will be completely subjective. It's not. Kita sudah sediakan satu standard prestasi di mana itu akan membantu guru-guru kita untuk memberi penilaian kepada murid itu. Sama ada mereka di tahap 1, 2, 4, ataupun 6. Template ini memang telah disediakan oleh KPM. Jadi apabila guru itu letak satu atau letak dua atau letak lima ataupun letak enam untuk salah satu mata pelajaran ke atau tema ke, ini semua akan generate dalam dalam Excel file itu dan itu akan keluarkan satu laporan yang komplit untuk rojokan ibu bapa. She said an overall individual report inclusive of a pupil's level of understanding on the subject and remarks will be produced twice a year for parents to check on their progress. To help teachers have a deeper understanding of the new system, Dio said the ministry will next year roll out a help task as well as conduct more training and mentoring sessions among other efforts. Education Director General Datuk Dr Amin Senin on Wednesday announced that the ministry was abolishing midterm and final exams for year 1, 2 and 3 pupils so that teachers can focus on character building instead of exam preparations.